I wanted to be a jazz acoustic bass player, you know, Scott LaFaro, uh, Charles Mingus, all those people were my idols, and that, that was my ambition, was to play Ronnie Scott's and everything like that. <clears throat> um, and then uh, I, I actually, the first time I played bass guitar, I was so much of a purist, I was really against it, but Ernest Wranglin, who's a very fine jazz guitar player from, from the West Indies, uh, he asked me to do a session with him, and he, he specified bass guitar, so I, uh, I borrowed one from a music shop, <laughs> and I was instantly hooked because it was so loud. <laughs> it was just nice and loud and, and easy to play. And uh, I never, I didn't go back to really back to playing uh, string bass much after that. First of all, I was uh, I was actually playing six string Fender uh, bass, which was a great instrument. The reason why I was doing that was uh, that I was in a, a band which didn't have a guitar, so I was able to do a little guitar solos in that in, using that. But the I was never really, I thought a bass guitar should really sound like a guitar as opposed to sounding like a, trying to make it sound like a bass. So that's why I went to the Gibson, I got a, a EB3 was the first Gibson I got. And that had a very guitar, like quite short scale. And you could bend the strings, that's what attracted me to it. I wasn't playing fretless, but you could actually get a similar effect by bending the strings, which is not, I can't do, I, can, I don't know if I can bend the strings in this. No, see, I can't. But this, I used to use light gauge uh, labella strings, and I would bend uh, bend the strings like a guitar. And uh, playing with Eric, I was trying to keep up with Eric. You see, um, not much chance, but I was giving it all I had. <laughs>